Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, aka the guy with a worm sign the likes that God has never seen, and the first official trailer for Dune is now out in cinemas, but if you haven't had the chance to check it out yet because of what's going on, then this is the video for you. Throughout it, we'll be going through the ins and outs of the trailer and giving our thoughts on the teaser as a whole. There will be some spoilers here, so if you want some surprises left for when it releases online on the 9th of September, then I recommend that you go off world as fast as you can. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for videos that will spice up your life every day, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy it. With that out of the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into the breakdown. Okay, so unfortunately, when I went to see Tenet yesterday, there were absolutely no trailers at the start of the movie, and it just kicked off with the opening of the film as soon as the lights dimmed. However, this description comes from a Canadian cinema employee who not only posted an entire write-up of the trailer, but also showed some images of it. We can't put them in here because of copyright reasons, and the last time that I did this, ironically with a theatrical trailer for Tenet, my video got blocked and the channel received a strike. However, I have seen some of the images that were posted, and they do line up a lot with what's here, so it seems all legit and above board. I've taken that description and fleshed it out with some extra info though, so you know what to expect going in. Now as for the trailer itself, it opens with a gorgeous custom WB and legendary logo, the two of which are gold and black. It looks like Warner Brothers are now doing basically custom colours across the board for their films, as we saw in the opening of the Batman trailer that the Warner Brothers logo was red and black, and at the beginning of Tenet, it was actually a very dark red. Now this was the first bit of info that really tipped the scales for me for this being a real description, as I doubt anyone would have noticed that Warner Brothers have started doing this unless they'd seen not only the Batman trailer, but also Tenet itself. The trailer then cuts right into an iconic scene from the novel that fans will immediately recognise. That is, the Gom Jabbar test. This scene takes place early on in the novel, and it's actually the focal point of this teaser. Now in case you don't know, the Gom Jabbar is basically a test of humanity that's used to determine whether someone possesses it or not. This involves the person being tested, putting their hand inside a box that causes overwhelming pain and at their neck is placed a poisonous needle so that they cannot back out of it. We actually see this in the trailer and before travelling to Arrakis, Paul Atreides is introduced to the Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Moheim. This was actually shown in the 1984 film and similar to that, the character asks Paul to place his hand inside a box which burns away at it. The employee who wrote the description said that the scene was nothing short of stunning from a purely visual perspective. This has me hyped as all the images we've seen so far make the film look absolutely fantastic and I really can't wait to see it in action. The set that Paul and the Reverend Mother sit in is enormous and circular with beautifully ornate carvings in the walls and floors. Sunlight beams through a skylight and the two characters are centred in the room. The Reverend Mother is wearing a complex gown that's almost terrifying and the black netted materials drape over her entire body. She speaks with a taunting, almost mechanical tone, explaining the test to Paul. The author of the description then said that Paul could tell he was clearly in over his head and that he started trembling as the test began. As the test plays out and his fear and pain increases, the footage is intercut with sweeping shots of Arrakis' deep desert with dunes as far as the eye can see. The author says it's exactly how you would imagine it and it captures the book perfectly. The entire landscape is bright yellow and you can feel the sun through the screen. We also get quick, big shots of almost every cast member making their faces obvious to the viewers. From here we see a door open on an aircraft and the Artrides men stand in their armour as the Arrakis sun shines on them. Oscar Isaacs looks absolutely regal and badass as Duke Atreides, Rebecca Ferguson is hooded and smiling as Lady Jessica, and Duncan Idaho, played by Jason Momoa, makes a quick appearance wearing a still suit. You also see Javier Bardem Stilgar remove his face and mask to speak to someone. The montage continues with Zendaya's character climbing over rocks with a group of freemen. Some quick shots also include an ornithopter touching down in the desert and Paul stepping off of it. From here, we see Chang Chen as Dr. Wellington Yu, Sharon Duncan Brewster as Liette Kynes, and our first look at the Beast is then dropped. Dave Bautista, who's playing the character, looks almost painted white, or covered in dust, and the actor really embodies the character brilliantly. 
there's also the quickest glimpse of a character's head emerging from a huge tub full of liquid that had a similar colour to Raban's skin. The character seemed to be Baron Vladimir, played by Stellan Sarsgaard, and the moment is meant to be extremely grotesque. Throughout the teaser, the intensity of Paul's test builds and builds with each new cast member who's introduced. This finally culminates with an epic close-up of Paul in the desert, in a still suit, walking amongst the Freemen. The score really comes in as the title reveals itself, and the user said that it sounded very Hans Zimmer-esque. It sounded like a cross between Blade Runner and The Lion King that perfectly captured the tone of the movie due to its drums and ethereal strings. The user stated that the trailer lasted only about 90 seconds, however it was an incredible journey that instantly let the viewer know that this was the adaptation we'd all been waiting for. That's pretty much the trailer in a nutshell, and before we get into my thoughts, I just want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of Marvel's Avengers to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be on the chance of winning the game is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts on the teaser in the comment section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of August, and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Okay, so as I'm sure you can guess, I'm really excited to see what goes down in the film, and this trailer sounds absolutely phenomenal. The Gom Jabbar test is one of the most memorable scenes, not only in the book, but also the film itself, and I think it's so smart to set an entire trailer around this whilst we cut in between the characters and see them introduced all while showing how strong that ball is. Our direction is also something that you really need to nail when it comes to Dune, and from the first stills that we saw, I knew the creative team had really put a lot of effort and thought into capturing the look of the film and how the book should be translated to screen. I'm definitely in the mind state that this is going to be one of the best movies of the year, and let's be honest, not much competition, but I think even if it gets released next year, then yeah, probably still going to be one of the best. Now that does bring us on to our next subject, which is whether the film will actually meet its release date or not. Personally, I think that it will, and the fact that Warner Brothers are promoting it makes me confident that it will see the light of day in the darkest month of the year, which just so happens to be taking place in probably the darkest year of the darkest timeline. But how do I know this? Well, I actually speak to a lot of insiders who are parts of PR teams and the marketing departments at studios. From what I've heard, Every studio has basically been waiting to see how Tenet will perform, and then if it does well, they will release their movies. This is across the board, and it also involves Black Widow 2, which Disney are holding back on in order to see how Christopher Nolan's movie does. If it underperforms, then they'll likely release it on Disney+, Plus, similar to Mulan, however, it doesn't seem like they're going to need to. Tenet was originally predicted to do 40 million this entire weekend, However, in its first day, the pre-sale tickets have already outperformed Dunkirk, which made 50 million. So it does seem likely that it will in fact perform above its expectations, and this sets a good precedent for Dune being released on schedule. We still have to see how things go ahead over the Saturday and Sunday, but I can see Tenet performing really well, and I'm even going to see it myself a second time today. So yeah, I'm helping out too. Now, we will likely get more clarity when the trailer is released on the 9th of September, and hopefully it comes with a release date so we can see when the film actually will drop in cinemas. Anyway, that's our entire video, and obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the teaser, so make sure you comment below and let me know. If you're as hyped for it as we are, then drop a thumbs up, and if you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of Tenet, which is going to be linked at the end. We go over everything that you need to know about the movie and its ending, so it's definitely worth checking out after this. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early, then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on the Discord server linked in the description, or heavy spoilers on Twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video, you've been the best, I've been Definition, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.